and the components are also same all of this three will have initialization condition checking condition statement we can say condition statement or expression uh, and again the condition must be of boolean form and third thing is nothing but we must increment or decrement the underlying variable this three components will be present in all these three keywords right while do while and for so now we will go to from while we will now go to do while and let's understand what is the difference between this two okay so now uh, let me copy the same code with respect to do while also okay so now and we what we want we want to convert it into do while so this is the while code and now i want to perform the same task my task is to perform uh, a print okay so now i i don't want to print 1 to 10 again i want to print just simple hello world message or hello message on my screen okay a objective but i don't want to use while now i want to use do while now so let's understand the changes so as you can see the first change is i will write down do here before the this particular block not while so that means i am not mentioning any condition here and condition will be mentioned at the time of exit so therefore do while is also called exit control loop because entry is free so that means where the very first time this statement will be executed for sure right and after executing this particular statements means line number line number 8 and 9 here at line number 10 condition will be checked and again i will write down the same condition while i is less than 11 then i will repeat this particular do step one more change in the case of while we don't write semicolon after this particular round bracket right you can see here my cursor is here at line number 5 and we here we don't put like this this semicolon whereas in the case of do while right in the case of do while we must put semicolon after writing down this so here is the change in terms of syntax again this is increment decrement this is initialization these two things are same and again condition will condition statement will come here in line number 10 that is the difference okay now let's compare this two right so it uh, eventually uh, in terms of output if we check then both will give us the same output you can count here also uh, and if, if counting is difficult then what we can do we can just write down we, we can just print down value of let's say variable i then then it will become easier for us to compare so uh, as you can see now the values are coming from 1 to 10 so effectively the same objective is achieved but the difference is in terms of how many times you are going to check the condition if we uh, you need to think about this how many times we are checking this particular condition i less than 11 in the case of while this is the first question second question is how many times we are checking this particular question, uh, condition i less than 11 in the case of do while this is the second question can we say we are checking this particular condition exactly 11 times in in the case of while or 10 times 11 or 10 what do you think how many times we are checking this condition good the answer is correct answer is in the case of while we are checking this particular condition 11 times because in, initially it will be checked for 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 up to up to 10 then it will be also checked for 11 11 less than 11 this condition will be checked but this condition is false therefore we will go to line number 10 that's the idea right now if we try to analyze the same with respect to do while then what can we say how many times this condition will be checked right why because the first time we we are not even checking right this this is free right first pass is free so first time it will be executed for sure then we will check the condition and therefore here we will be checking this particular condition one less time right so total we will be checking this particular condition 10 times in the case of uh, do while okay
so uh, i hope this is clear right again the objective is same we are we are achieving the same objective of printing numbers from 1 to 10 or printing hello 10 times on the output screen the syntax is changed the only change is here we write condition towards the end therefore it's called exit control and we also put this semicolon right and here we use this particular key, uh, keyword which is nothing but do so so far uh, we have talked about two new keywords today the first keyword is uh, while the second keyword is do while right do as well as while both of these are nothing but keywords okay fine now we'll we will talk about for loop in the next tutorial thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos